Open the gate that I may enter. So when you step into the energies of the Nurgle Gate after doing the gate walking and you're stepping into the energy of Mars, um, these are some things that you can focus on for the month or, or however long you're going to spend in the gate. So I would create an altar to Nurgle facing south, uh, facing south because Nurgle is the king of the Watchers. He's also Eresh Kagal's consort, so he is associated with the underworld. A uh, daily reading of the Nurgle Gate Invocation. A daily reading of On the Sleep of Ishtar up to Enter the Fifth Gate. Um, general daily meditation. Research the location of, and spelling error, Mars in your personal birth chart and, it, and its influences. Research the astro astrological sign that Mars is in at the time of the gate walking ceremony and the signs it will move into during the time spent in the Nurgle Gate. Once again, that's using transit charts. Uh, contemplate, let's see. Oh, it's a little different here. Let's see, I would contemplate on, and I'm gonna have to fix this in my manuscript now, but I'm, now I'm gonna be going off the cuff here. Mars has to do with your passions, which can lead to, um, you know, things that you are excited about, but also things that you can get angry about. So really try to utter, study and understand what triggers you have that can kind of set you off or where your anger comes from. Maybe it's from a trauma that happened several years ago. Maybe it happens to be, at least on whatever day it is that you're um, that you wanted to step into your ritual space that somebody at the grocery store happened to bump into you with their cart and it happened to make you mad. What are your triggers? What things make you angry? What things make you excited? Um, let's see, what else? Uh, daily prayers and offerings to Nurgle facing south. Contemplate your anger. Is your anger always appropriate? Do you feel that you get angry at the appropriate, ti appropriate times and appropriate situations? What does your anger look like? Like, how do you act when you're angry? Do you shut off? Are you silent? Are you very vocal? Are you very verbal? Are you physical when you're angry? Um, do you take it out on the space around you? Do you take it out in here? How does anger affect you? Uh, red colored clothing and altered decor. Consider what strength means to you. Are you strong? In what ways? In what ways are you weak? How can you improve these aspects of yourself? Contemplate on how you will put your will and desire out into the world. Has it been effective? Have you been too lenient or too harsh on yourself when it comes to pushing yourself to get done what needs to get done? Consider what it means to be courageous. When have you shown courage? When have you kind of been a little bit more scared and held back? Why? Uh, meditate on the fives of wands, swords, cups, and pentacles in the tarot to get more of an idea of the energies that you'd be working with. I'm going to have to go back into this and fix a couple of the things because I think some things got copy-pasted in the wrong way. Hopefully this did come out good for you guys and you kind of understand how to work with the energies of the Nurgle Gate a little bit better. So we're going to keep going here. My next one is going to be the Marduk Gate and look for that video when it comes up. Good hunting.